Hi! So, you either made it into this video being an ISE freshman, future ISE freshman, or, you know, you just wanna know what this guy has up his sleeves for young freshmen. Whoever you are, I think we can relate to the fact that, you know, the first month in college can be hell confusing. So, I've gathered some tips for you, especially ISE freshmen, that I wish I'd known when I just started freshman. Alright, what's good guys? If you're new to the channel, my name is Pitt. I'm a second year engineering student at Chulalong Kong University focusing on electrical and computer science. Okay, for no good reason at all, let me just show you this magic trick and let's start off with our first tip. All right, tip number one is to get an iPad. Yeah, it sounds intuitive, but it's worth emphasizing. When I was in high school, I don't use iPad, I just use my physical notes. So when I started freshman, I was skeptical, like, should I get an iPad? And when I get an iPad, it was worth every cent. Especially note-taking, you can organize all your notes in one place, and you don't have to physically carry a binder filled with notes, you know, you can just have this one thing. And a note-taking app that many of us use and I recommend is GoodNotes. Notably, could be another one, but I recommend GoodNotes personally because it's more flexible, faster, and easy to use. And the main perk of getting an iPad is AirDrop. Let me tell you the value of AirDrop. Trust me, it will make your work life for you and your friends so much easier. And I find it personally useful when I'm handing in last minute deadline assignments. You know, my last final exam, I used up every minute of the exam and I have just a few seconds left. You know, so I adopted my work from my iPad to my MacBook like in mere seconds and I hit submit like with half a second left, you know. It was such an intense experience, but you know, AirDrop helped a lot. So get an iPad, have a note-taking app, and AirDrop will save lives. Next is keeping a good communication with your professors. It's always nice to have a good relationship with your professors. They're more understanding if you're reasonable. If you want an extension for your work, you can always email them. If you want more information from the class or the lecture, and they can even check your homework for you. No joke. So my last year's graphics class, one of my friends sent his assignment for the professor to check like three to four times before submitting the assignment for the same professor to grade it. So if you didn't think it was an option, try emailing your professors. Next, you should know a few study places that you could go if the pandemic is getting better around here. The first place that you should go, which is a nap lab. Nap lab is a quiet study place where there's bed for you to take a nap. There's cooperative tables where there are tools to help you work together. And there's a work escape zone as well where you can play ping pong, play some games, order some food to eat. And there's this highlight that I really like, which is this. <laughs> very steep slider where you could boost your mood up when you're feeling sleepy and you want to focus. Next is Midtown. In Midtown there are many 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 places you can go. We like to study in coffee shops such as Starbucks which opens 24 hours. Tim Hortons. I especially like Tim Hortons because the mood is quite bright and the smell of the coffee is great. And from time to time you study at this coffee place as well. So if Tim Hortons or Starbucks is full, you know, you can always go to this place. In Midtown, there's also a cooperative study place called Co-op, where if you download an app and if you are a Chulalong Born student, you can enter this place for free. And it's super quiet, super productive, everyone's working, but it's usually full, so make sure you book before you actually go there. And my personal uh, crazy place to study is the roof because the roof has a special place in my heart. I don't know why but Samyai Midtown's roof is very calming. So give that a try. Third, I would recommend True Coffee in Chamchuri Square. This place is quite low key. There's not too many people and the moods there are set me to be kind of productive. So I would recommend that. But in Chamchuri, do not go to the basement. It smells like and the last one worth recommending is libraries. If you are an ICE student, you can go to uh, an engineering library. It looks super neat and it's very fun to study in. Or, you know, you can take an adventure and go to other majors library as well. Change up the environment and meet some new people. So have fun exploring, let's move on. Next, let's talk about must-have materials for your classes. So the person that you can most rely on for materials is your code bro or code sis. Or in Thai words, Pirahat. You know, these guys have passed freshmen before so they know exactly what to give you and where to guide you so be sure to ask them if they don't already send you the materials that you need you know feel free to ask them they are more than happy to help you but in general there are some materials that will be useful for every freshman and this is especially helpful if you're in ISE so for calculus find problem sets from Pitun that's the best one that have saved me from my midterm for physics do questions in survey and if you want to find an extra class I would then um, pee off 
He's really good at teaching and he's very chill. So if you don't know who PRF is and you want uh, an extra physics tutoring class as a group, you know, you can ask me for his contact. And lastly, don't forget to do professor's problems. If the professors give you problem sets, do them. Since the professors themselves are the ones creating the exams, not Pitun or PRF or survey. So make sure you do questions from the professors themselves to, you know, get the idea of what the professors might ask in the exams. But if the professors don't give you that much problems, TAs probably will. TAs are teacher assistants. You can email and ask them for problem sets. They're there to help the professors and help the students. So reach out to them. Okay, but if you don't quite grasp the concept from materials given above, you know, you can always search on YouTube. You know, I've watched so many Indian guys clips that have saved my life so I'm not being biased or anything they actually are really good at explaining stuff so if you find an Indian video go for it <laughs> and lastly for this tip I would recommend you to start reading earlier in the semester since I can tell you freshman is very tough so plan ahead and you will be much less stressed weeks before the exam and it's only going to be tough for the first year as older students says as you get to the next years like sophomore junior or senior it will get chiller it will get easier so yeah put in the grind for year one so you don't have to repeat them and life will get easier as you go all right and this is the concept that I've talked about many times before and it is to figure out your sections fast so in college for each class you have many sections that you can go to so you know each sections have their own professors to teach figure out which one you prefer for example if section 2 has a professor that's very good at teaching you can choose to study in section 2 even though you are assigned to study with section 5 and this way you can choose to learn with the best professors in every class and if you're super crazy you can watch all the professors if you want and for choosing sections if you see a guy named Monchai go for it no second thought Go for it. I'll leave a link down below for his calculus class for freshmen. This guy got me through the year, so be sure to check his videos. So yeah, try to figure out the best sections to focus on earlier in the semester. Although it's good for focusing by studying alone, don't always do so. If you made it into ISE, chances are almost all of your friends are super smart, right? So my advice is to find good friends so you and your friends could help each other study. And as the saying goes, friends and by. Apart from partying and having fun, we encourage each other to study as well. And without friends, my finals and midterms would honestly be tougher. So don't always study alone, find friends who study as groups as well. Next up, be your own CEO. We all know that we procrastinate from time to time, especially during pandemic where we study at home with a flexible schedule. And I know there will be a lot of resistance at first in setting a schedule for yourself to study, but I promise you it will get so much easier once it become a habit. College is when you have the most freedom to design your own schedule since it's the most flexible time of our lives. Just, you know, take the advantage of this time. The pandemics get better, you know, you can try new things. Join a club, meet new friends, make new connections, find experiences from real projects. You know, if you're energetic like me, try to use college time to do something else other than studying as well. For me, I feel like you need kind of a balance in life. You, know, you can't always be studying. You need to foster connections, you need to find experience in life, get real experience in work as well. You know, try to use uh, the flexibility of college as an advantage. And lastly, use this flexibility of schedule to live life. Since I think you all know that year one would be the best year in college, plus the college freedom in our schedules that we have, freshmen would be arguably the most memorable and the most fun time of our lives. So if you want to skip class for a basketball game, go. If you want to party like crazy every single night, go. If you want to drive to the beach one day before the exam, go. Want to drop off college? Nah, chill. Okay, yeah, those are all exaggerations. But yeah, try to balance life, you know, work hard, play hard. And you know, I'm just giving you a friendly reminder to live life as well before you miss it. All right, if you want to know more about my experience in freshman myself, check that out if you feel like it. I've got some wholesome videos of me and my friends, you know, experiencing freshmen. And if you think studying at home during a pandemic is a complete bummer, you know, check that out. I made a video about how studying at home could be a good thing and hopefully I convince you otherwise. Okay, see you in the next video. Peace.